Hello everybody! Today we are taking on the frozen tundra of Medved Taiga with literally the lightest loadout I could possibly make using one of the new weapons. And uh, the new weapon we're using today is the 4570 single shot handgun. When you combine this with the 243 single shot and the 22 LR handgun, you can make an insanely light loadout as you're seeing on screen right now. The only other things we have in this is the scopes for the for the handguns. We've got the binoculars. And then of course we have our med kits, which I forgot to equip. Actually, no, they were in the different slot. Okay. But this loadout right here is going to be a really crazy loadout. If you want to set up for a brand new map. If you want to set up for a brand new map, this is going to be a phenomenal loadout to use because you can put a tent as well as a tripod or a blind in your inventory at the same time and not have to like place the tent down, then grab the blind out and then place the blind down, then put it away, then pick the tent back up. You can just have it all in one inventory loadout. For those that are unaware, this is an early access look at a brand new update that will be dropping on March 12th, so stay tuned for that. You guys are going to be getting a lot of cool stuff with this update, including binocular customization, as you can see right here. Lots of cool stuff coming with this update, but for now, you guys will at least have this content to uh, check out and be able to uh, get an idea of what to expect with this update and also uh, decide whether or not you want to get the new Weapon Pack DLC because... Uh, it's nice to be able to actually get a look at it before it fully releases. Now with this loadout right here, it comes in at 5.56 total carrying capacity, which is actually pretty hilarious because that's a really awesome caliber as well. But we've got the 243 R Cuomo Champion, 4570 Jernberg Superior, and the Anderson 22 LR Woodsman, along with 22 truncated cone bullet, 243 poly tips, 4570 soft point flat nose bullet, We've got the Hyperion scope as well as the Gosshawk Red Eye handgun scope. And then we go down to the first aid kits as we've got those as well and the Apex View binoculars. And the reason this is going to be such a great loadout for setting up for a brand new map as eventually this year we will end up getting a new map. So you'll want to load out kind of like this to be able to set up for the brand new map whenever it does release. You can put a tent in here as well as dropping either a blind or a tree stand or a tripod stand and you still have a little bit of weight left over to put in whatever you'd like to add into that remaining weight whether it's calls or scent eliminator or whatever it may be so this is gonna be a really really good loadout for setting up for a brand new map about 200 meters away is a lynx let's go ahead and pull out the 243 handgun get lined up and there she goes she's dead absolutely demolished her we also have some wild boar over there. They are at 300 meters, so this is a bit out of range of the brand new 4570 handgun, but we're going to use the 22 handgun to try and get their attention, as you can do the 22 trick with this handgun. If we can hit close enough. There we go. We got its attention. Let's run up a little bit closer so we can hopefully make this shot. We're going to have to compensate a bit still, but maybe this will be a little bit more doable. Here we go. I mean, that's a hit, and that's vitals. You know, not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised we nailed that shot. That was a tough shot to make. This is a little bit out of our range, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Actually, let me check the pressure. Ah, we should be fine. Let's do it. It's a hit, and it's a vital hit. Let's go. So as you can see, even with this being an all handgun loadout, because it does have a couple of rifle round handguns, it's actually still very, very effective, and you can get some pretty solid shots on animals from 200 or more meters away without even having a single rifle in your loadout. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and change the time, because if you guys have been around on the channel for quite a while, you will remember that we have a piebald moose here on Medved that we have been keeping alive for such a long time. And there it is, that spot. We named this one when we were doing our Great One Grinds on Medved, which at this point it has been probably close to a year since we last hunted for Great One Moose on Medved. So this guy has been sitting on this map for so long and since we do our moose grinds on Leighton Lakes nowadays and don't even touch Medved for moose hunting, I think it's about time that we take this down. We're gonna use the brand new 4570 on this beautiful piebald 
Probably the smallest pie ball I will ever kill for moose. Ooh, this is actually not bad. 150 meters away? I think we can do that. Maybe we can even walk up slightly closer and get an even better shot on it. Okay, it's alerted now, but this might actually benefit us as it should face us. And then we can just do that. That's going to be a hard shot. Down goes Spot. Or wait, was his name Spot? I don't remember. Was it Spot or was it... Or was it Pi? Or no, what was it? Oh my gosh. I don't remember the name of this moose, actually. I know that I let chat name this moose. I think it was the number of Pi, which I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. I may be completely misremembering, but I don't think its name was Spot. I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, we still took it down with the 4570. Let me know in the chat if you guys remember what I let you guys name this moose when we originally found it, because I really, I really cannot remember off the top of my head. I can't remember if it was the, the number pi or if it was just pi or if it was spot or what, but there it is. It's dead and it's finally going into our trophy lodge. 88.48. Wow. That's barely a silver, barely a silver piebald moose, but it's a beauty. It's a beautiful moose, nonetheless, even with those uh, tiny, <laughs> tiny little uh, antlers on its head. That's actually kind of crazy how tiny those antlers are. That, that's impressive. So here is the wild boar that we shot from quite a long distance away. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. I did not think that we would be able to get a shot kind of like through the side of the neck right there. I thought for sure it dropped down below the chin and hit the lung there, but... Wow, that's a crazy shot to hit. I mean, we barely got in there, but it still did the trick at almost 300 meters as well. Wow, the 4570 never would have been able to hit at 300 meters before. So I definitely see the the like velocity increase that they did with this update. It's unfortunate the rifle didn't get its zeroing distances changed because now the handgun has a max zeroing distance of 200 meters while the rifle only has a max zeroing distance of 150, which is a little strange. This right here should be the last animal that we took down. This is our level six male lynx. Jeez, we, we got spine lung on it from 248 meters. Love to see it, man. Honestly, it, I, I really just can't get over the fact that you can have such a lightweight loadout nowadays and still be pretty effective. Like, like two years ago in Call of the Wild, nobody would ever think that you could have a loadout of weapons that's only around like five and a half units that can be effective against pretty decent sized animals at a decently long range. And that right there is a wolf at 170 meters away. There's also another wolf over there at probably more like 200, 220. We're going to go for that one, I think. And yeah, it's going to do it. That wolf is gone. He's a goner. He's dead. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to hit that like button as well as leaving a comment down below and subscribing to the channel if you are new. So there is our Wolf 3626. That's going to be a double lung hit from the 4570 at 231 meters away. So this is going to be a bit of a problem. I have no idea where this Capricali is, but I really need to shoot a Capricali with the, uh, or Capricali, Capricali with the two, two. I, I can't speak today. I really need to shoot a Capricali with the 22 handgun. But uh, yeah, it was off to the side of its zone. So I didn't see it, and now who knows where it is. There we go. There's a Capricali right there. I don't know if we hit it. I, I don't know if we did. No, we definitely didn't. Yeah, I don't know if we're ever going to hit this poor Capricali. He is just, he, he's too elusive for me. He's too elusive for me. Wait. Oh my gosh, we did hit it. No way. We did hit it. Which means I can actually send the dog after it now and we can figure out where this thing died. There we go. There's our little Capricali. Let's go ahead and claim this little guy. It was definitely not the greatest shooting I've ever done. But we did hit it one time while it was flying away at 114 meters. Okay, no wonder I was having trouble hitting it. It was way past the max zeroing distance, so there was definitely a bit of bullet drop there. 
444 is not bad. Close to diamond. A good bit above gold. Solid kill. Well, I think it's only fitting that we uh, take down this guy right here and put this beautiful piebald here instead because, uh, man, I mean, it's very fitting to have him right next to a great one. <laughs> oh, man. That is honestly a really cool piebald. I do like this piebald quite a bit. I'm glad we finally decided to take it down instead of just leaving it there. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was more of just a short video to show off a cool loadout that you can make now with the introduction of this 4570 handgun where you can actually get a really, really awesome and effective loadout that weighs hardly anything. So you have plenty of room for tents and stands and whatever you want to throw in there for whenever we get another map added to the game. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know how you feel about this update and how you feel about this particular loadout. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.